Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Mode. Uh, today I am uh, back in this world and uh, we are going to be building a gold farm. But before you watch this video, make sure that you have watched this video first, which will be up here in the in the card. Because um, this was kind of like live stream highlights between two episodes, um, where I fought the ender dragon, did end busting, got elytra and all kinds of stuff. So if you don't watch that, you'll be kind of confused as to where I am right now in the game progression. But yeah, other than that, uh, watch the video and uh, peace. Now, um, you might notice something weird, and that is that I have this basement down here. And let me explain. I recorded an episode of me making the basement, but my microphone wasn't being recorded, so it was just literally footage of me just like sitting around like this. And I thought that would be boring to watch. So I thought, hey, I'm just gonna live stream a little bit and then do some building on my basement. So I uh, built this basement. It has an aquarium in it and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. And uh, and then <laughs> I uh, built like a giant sugarcane farm up here, which uh, it looks like it works. I'm not done with it yet, but I started building it. However, however, the screen recording was uh, like the, the file for the video was corrupted. So you can't even watch the video. I'll try showing you guys. <clears throat> anyway, today I will be working on a gold farm. So um, I'm going to do some uh, research on how to build a gold farm and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so um, now I know how to make a gold farm. And uh, also in the corrupted video, I went up to the nether roof and uh, did some exploring there. However, uh, since it got corrupted, you guys can't actually uh, see the footage of me going up there. But uh, I have a setup now, so uh, if we go into this portal here, then I should end up above the nether. And yes, here we are on top of the nether. It's uh, really weird up here, it sure is. But um, yeah, I'm going to be building the gamer farm up here. Gamer farm? Gold farm <laughs> up here. But uh, I just need a few uh, stuff first. So for this video, I'm going to be using the tutorial by Gamer Cory, And for that, I'm going to need uh, some leaves. And quite a few of them, actually. So I'm going to get a bunch of these leaves. Well, that was it for my shears. But I did get quite a few leaves. So I think that's enough. And I'm going to go back to the tutorial and see what else I need. Okay, so now comes a little bit of a hard part. I'm going to need turtle eggs. And uh, <laughs> quite frankly, how am I going to get those? I'm not sure. So, um, I think I'll have to go breed some turtles, and then, uh, I'll have to see what happens after that. Also, I have no food. Like, I have nothing to eat. I'm- I'm gonna starve to death. I- I can eat these carrots, I guess. Ah, much better. 44 golden carrots. That should have me set for a long time. Ah, yes, here. Two turtles. Okay, now I need to find seagrass, and there's some of it right down there. Yeah. Okay, so now I have 38 seagrass. That should be enough, right? So let's get these turtles and breed them. Hey, you there, over there. Come here, I, ne I need you to breed. Uh, yes, yes, this is exactly what I needed. Now you, make the heart thing. And you, make the heart thing. Also, I realized it's really light in my room, so hold on, I just need to fix that. Ah yes, much better. Now you, follow me. <gasps> they laid an egg. He, she, probably a she, because only she's can lay eggs. Sorry, LGBTQ. I'm just gonna sit around until uh, until five minutes have passed so I can breed them again. You know what, as a matter of fact, I might actually uh, fly over to some of these icebergs and take some of the ice because I can use that for transportation in the nether. So let's see, uh, blue ice, perfect. Okay, now I have a little bit of ice, uh, a little bit meaning like almost four stacks of uh, blue ice, so that's quite quite good. So, uh, I guess I can use that for another transport later when I need it. Alright, 
All right, you two. <gasps> Another egg. It sounds so satisfying when I break the eggs. I'm sorry, it's like I'm killing babies, but like, it sounds so satisfying. A three of them. Wow. Five eggs now. That's a lot. So now I can head off again. Okay, now I have the turtle eggs. I have to check the video again to see what I need. Okay, so now I actually have everything that I need. I'm going to bring some golden armor just in case because I will be in the nether after all. So uh, better safe than sorry, I guess. And then I need a bunch of blocks. And obviously I'm going to use netherrack because netherrack is probably the easiest block to get. And um, I also need some trapdoors. Eight trapdoors. Oh yeah, I also need soul fire torches. All right, four stacks of soul torches. That's definitely enough. And now I can go up to the nether roof. Okay, so uh, this what I have to do now is build up all the way to world height. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> 192 blocks out of 256. So it's another like 60 blocks. So here we are up here at layer 256. And I have to mine down one block and place a leaf and I forgot my leaves at home. Anyway, let's get up to, oh wait, let's place down the ladder. Yeah. How far off am I? Okay, it's about a stack of ladders left. No! Okay. Now the ultimate challenge to try and land directly. Mm. This is gonna suck. Okay, here we are at the top of the world. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, the next thing I had to do was place a leaf here. Okay, so now I need to go down two blocks. And our platform is gonna be here. So here I put my three turtle eggs. Here. Here and here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oops. Okay, next, what I need to do is, first of all, I'm gonna close these. And then I go out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-three, twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I repeat that on the other side. One, two, three, four. So now I completely fill uh, this up uh, with a netherrack. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to go home again and get lots of uh, netherite, netherrack, because uh, this is not gonna be enough. As you can see, I've already like I've already spent like two stacks of it on just this, so uh, it's gonna be at least another like four stacks. So I've done a little bit of work here. So now I have to carefully get over here so I don't break the egg. Now break your eggs, break them. Oh, we already have some uh, zombie pigmen up here. Good to know. So at least we know now that things can spawn up here. So that's cool. Okay, so now we have this spawning platform ready and done. Uh, I'm just gonna put down soul torches all around the place. Okay, so now I have uh, some soul torches here, and it does look really sick, I must admit. Now it says that the next thing I need to do is uh, 
do the exact same, but just in another layer on top. So I'll have to go home and get even more netherrack. That was close. Okay, so the piglins are after me now. So I'm gonna have to put on my golden helmet. I said I'm gonna have to put on my- thank you. Also, I realized that in the video he didn't put it on top, he put it below. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I have run out of netherrack again, so uh, I'll need to head home. But that's alright, because I also need some more turtle eggs. Alright, we got uh, two eggs. And I found some more turtles over there, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, make them breed too, just so I have some extra eggs. Just in case, you know. Lay the egg! Lay the egg, lay the egg, lay the egg, lay the egg, lay the egg. Please lay the egg. Yes. How many? Four. Haha, <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, seven eggs now. Okay, now I'm gonna place down the soul fire torches just like last time. All right, we now have a uh, torch thing set up. Okay, so, whoa, that scared me. Jeez, that gas just spawned in. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> that was actually a perfect example of why I'm about to do what I'm gonna do. So basically I need to, uh, place leaves over here just the whole way around like this to prevent stuff from gas and uh, and magma cubes from spawning I'm gonna need more leaves it really is scary up here in the nether also you can't be here go H how did you do that okay so uh, I've done some working and uh, this is what it looks like now it's pretty good um, I'm gonna place down these eggs here. But before I do that, I need some more, uh, trapdoors. And, uh, I also need more leaves, so I'm just gonna go home and get those stuff. Okay, I'm gonna place the eggs here. And the trapdoors here. Oops. Okay, I'm actually quite close to being finished with this project. However, I will uh, need to do a few more uh, quick things, such as uh, finishing this uh, upper leaf area. Okay, we now have this, uh, I don't know what to call it, rib looking thing, I guess you could say all around the thing at the top. So that will prevent all gas and magma cubes from spawning. So now I just need to make a platform where they all fall down. So when they fall down, they're gonna hit the platform. And I'm, I already uh, placed a block down here, but I think that's too far for them to survive. But we'll see. Yeah, they, d they just die here. Uh, that's not really what I want. What about maybe up here or something? If they still die, okay. Um, let's go up a couple blocks. Here, maybe. Now, of course, I'll need to wait for them to actually, uh, come. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, they still die. Okay, surely I should hit, like, the okay height soon. Yes, here, okay. So now they should be, like, basically one hit. 
Now I'm gonna make like a chute for them to fall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> what do I do in a situation like this? <laughs> that was kind of uh, scary. What? Why didn't my elytra work? What the heck? Now I'm scared of flying. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there. Okay, so there's a hole here. So what if I like empty this place? Can the babies get through? Is what I'm trying to find out. It looks like they can't. So I'm gonna try something now. I'm gonna try and attack them. Whoa! Moment of truth. I'm about to break the the blocks under the eggs here. And then uh, the pigmen are gonna start getting angry. Okay, here we go. And now they're all gonna start running towards it. Perfect. Let's break these leaves up here so it's also a little bit faster. And look at them, they're just flowing in. So now if we go down here. Do you hear that? That's a lot of zombie pigmen. They're dying to entity cramming because there are too many of them. I'm gonna hold this while I'm doing it so I can mend my pickaxe. So much stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna put down a crafting table so I can craft all of this into uh, yeah, stuff. And I'll put leaves over it too so nobody can spawn on it. How did you get here? I'll turn on uh, subtitles too to see if they actually get angry. Looks like they don't. Okay, they do. Now, if I've calculated this correctly, then if I actually go up here, jump up, and then go to the eggs, then I can actually deactivate the farm. If I, uh oh, uh oh, this isn't good. Uh, what happened here? Okay, so if we put the blocks up here again and some blocks down here, then I don't think anything can spawn here. All right, look, now the pigmen aren't angry anymore, meaning that I can go down and safely kill off all the pigmen. And then they won't uh, keep coming unless they just decide to walk in. So now that they aren't going for the f for the tunnel anymore, I can uh, quickly uh, craft all this into uh, ingots. And I can just do some work. And I'm going to use this for uh, when eventually I put hoppers under it to collect the items. Then I'm, then I'm going to deactivate the spawner so I can uh, put the hoppers down and then I can turn it on again. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now I've uh, picked up all the swords that have enchantments on them. I'll go back now and uh, disenchant them and just get that extra XP. Just look at me! 47 levels! That's pretty cool. All, uh, all 
in one day, uh, just two hours of work. Less, in fact, probably like an hour thirty. I'd say that's pretty good. A job well done. Alright, how much XP am I gonna get for this? You ready? Not that much, but it's alright. Soon I think I'll have enough to make a beacon. As a matter of fact, I might just uh, use the farm a little bit off camera until I have like enough of these gold nuggets. Then I can just make a beacon. Um, and then I might as well just fight the wither in the next episode, but stay tuned for that. Hey everyone, so um, we're here uh, a few hours later. I've done a little bit of grinding here in the farm. Just to get some uh, some of that good old XP. Um, and the reason I'm recording now is just because uh, if you're still watching... Oh, ouch. I'm just going to spend this time on uh, making a storage collection system. <gasps> no, this guy has been breaking all the eggs. In that case, I'll uh, take this egg and I'll have to take both the eggs because I don't want any of them uh, coming down right now. I'm gonna change my uh, the way that I've placed the eggs so that they can't actually uh, trample on them. Good night. Okay, it's dark now. Okay, does it work? Let's find out. Are the items being transported? Yes, they are. Okay, from now on, uh, this chest is gonna be for my diamonds and emeralds, and this chest is gonna be for my gold and iron. Now I have all my uh, minerals nice and organized. This is really good. But unfortunately, I think that's all I have time for for this episode, because it's been like a lot of, it's, it's, I spent so much time on this already, and I kind of just want to go to bed. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.